how are you doing? I'm Madhvi from tarotticallyspeaking.com where I blog about all my uh, experiences and knowledge and wisdom and everything that I have learned from and about the tarot cards. I also do reviews of books and decks and so on. And of course, I read <laughs> tarot cards uh, for a living. And I also mentor students who are interested in learning uh, how to do tarot card readings. I mean, even just the readings part, you know, if you know the meanings, that's fine. You can just work on, you know, your reading skills because I wrote a book about it. So I've done a bunch. <laughs> anyway, so um, all that apart. Uh, you know, if you're if you're interested in any of it, the links are in the description that accompanies the video, so you can go check it out. Uh, meanwhile, for this video, um, as you know, this year, uh, you know, it's it's kind of my channel was fairly new. It is still fairly new. It's just hardly maybe a year, year and a half, I think, that I've started making like videos like real into it. Now, the thing is, uh, I I pick a theme every month and I work with it uh, using my tarot cards, of course. So the theme for October and November, it's kind of because it's connected. October is discovering shadow, your shadow, and November is embracing the shadow. So it's that's why it's connected. Uh, so this video, I'm going to do a spread uh, about my own shadow aspect, a certain aspect of that shadow aspect, if you will, because I've been doing a little bit of, you know, chunks of shadow work uh, over the past few years now. Um, well, well, first of all, let's begin with what is shadow, right? Um, very simply stated, I mean, if you, if you Google it, you'll, you'll find a bunch of websites which talk about it. Uh, they'll really get into depth with it with it which is good because if if you really want to you know understand it it's a good idea to read through it but on a very very straightforward very clear simple way is the shadow is the aspect of yourself of your personality of your whole sort of being which you have uh, suppressed or which you have pushed away which you say oh no this is so something bad about me so I am not gonna uh, bring it out I'm gonna push it inside deep 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 so that it doesn't come out it's it's you can say it's the darker side of of your of who you are and well because we are all humans, we have both good and bad. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be saying that, oh, it's only the bad. Uh, because your shadow side can actually sometimes be good for you too. Having that kind of uh, shadow sometimes can be good. Because sometimes, uh, you know, our negative uh, aspects can propel us into doing something good. So, uh, you know, it, it, it has different uh, effects on you. And many people say that our ambitions, our creativity, our uh, desires for more of anything really uh, emerge from that shadow side. So, uh, in fact, uh, the noted uh, psychologist, uh, psychiatrist, uh, whatever, uh, you know, Carl Jung, he actually even said that, uh, you know, it's a good idea to kind of integrate uh, your shadow self or or not not push it away rather embrace your shadow no, theme of November <laughs> you embrace that shadow to integrate with that shadow so that uh, you know it's it's instead of basically I think the concept is to not push away the darker side but to embrace it and by embracing it I'm not saying convert the dark side into the light side, but 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 to accept it and to know it, and so that it doesn't have that kind of negative sway over us, right? So, because uh, if if let's say you know that, oh, I, for instance, okay, for instance, let's say I know I have anger issues, let's say, right, and I can get angry at the drop of a hat and taken to the extreme, I can break things, I can hit people. Let's just say that is the situation. And that anger, that angry persona or that angry part of me, right, is, is part of my shadow self, let's say. 
Now, if I suppress it and I suppress it and I suppress it, that anger, it's, it's going to be triggered by something somewhere, somewhere down the line. And if I've kept on suppressing it all the time, it's going to get triggered in a real bad way and it's going to like erupt like a volcano. And it's going to be, even if it was a something, even if it was a really small thing, it, it's going to be like a huge anger, lots of stuff happening, lots of, you know, it's, it's going to come out in a very negative way at some point. Unexpectedly, it's going to burst out like a volcano and that's not good. Rather, if I sit down with my anger and I look deep into the, say, the source of it and the reason why I, I, I tend to express it in a certain way, for instance, why I feel like breaking things or why I feel like hitting people when I get angry, right? But if I sit down and I genuinely, like a mature adult, sit down with it and understand these different aspects of it, and, and think about it or, or, you know, use my journal to sort of write my way through that tangled mess that's in my brain. Maybe uh, I'll unearth a memory or maybe I'll unearth a series of experiences where in my life uh, I, I had to do that. You know, I had to, I, maybe I, I didn't get the chance to express uh, my anger in a normal way. Right. And, you know, I mean, it, I'm just giving an example, but think about it can happen. Right. Maybe in my childhood, uh, I, I got angry about something or the other and I was not allowed to express it. Right. And I started to learn to suppress it and suppress it and suppress it. But as I grew older and as I grew stronger than, say, my parents or something like that, and I found that I could just, you know, break things and express my anger and my dissatisfaction and and get some sort of emotional payoff from it. That shadow side, that rampant shadow side, that anger became stronger and stronger and stronger. But the reason is because maybe it could be something really deep or something really simple, but that the fact that I was not allowed to express my dissatisfaction and anger over something. And it grew and it grew and grew, right? That kind of, that is, you know, that's it's an example. And I'm not saying that I'm an angry person all the time one point I used to be quite a bit angry but not in that destructive way though uh, but I know people who, who can be that way now and and so it, it's something it's a shadow aspect that really needs you you to be more mature more self-aware and more sit down with it and and you know go go deep into it with it and study it and understand it and so on and so forth. So this anger thing was just an example because I think most people will understand or can on some level relate to this. Uh, <laughs> so this is this is basically what uh, shadow work kind of is, right? So there's various aspects of your shadow. It's not just, you know, you sit down in, in one sitting or you, you know, you, you figure it out. It's not like that. It's, it's an evolving process every time. There's more to unearth and every time there is more to discover and more to embrace. So if I, you know, so when I talk about embracing this shadow aspect, say with, continuing with the example of that angry person. So let's say I, I discover that, okay, this is why I'm such an angry person or this is why it comes out in this way and this is my emotional payoff and so on and so forth. I maturely look at these things. And then I say, okay, you know what? I'm not going to go down that route anymore. That emotional payoff doesn't satisfy me anymore. And I consciously take that effort and express my dissatisfaction and anger in much more uh, non-scary <laughs> ways or non, uh, you know, violent ways. And so I, I find the language, I find the words, I find the methods and techniques of expressing what I could not express before. And in this way, that, that angry side of me does find expression. It's, I, I don't suppress it anymore. I express it. But in a way that is much more acceptable, uh, you know, and, and more uh, nonviolent even. No, not destructive like that. So, you know, it's, so this is very specific to this example. There can be different ways the shadow comes through. And so every aspect probably requires, not probably, it definitely requires a different way, a different language, a different method of uh, expression and dealing and so on and so forth. So that is what I'm kind of talking about when I talk about embracing 
the shadow. So um, we'll, we'll get more into this obviously next month when I do spreads there or maybe this is it. I don't know how it, it just comes. So this time today, I'm going to sit down and, and if you have seen my uh, theme and intention uh, spread, which I did, I'll put a link up, up here. Up here, up here. This is so weird. Okay. You know, because there's a mirroring effect when I shoot this on my computer. Anyway, the point is I'll put the link in the somewhere one of the top corners somewhere and uh, you go see that theme and intention video and the guidance that the cards gave me in that specific video was to address or was this year the shadow work that I was I'm, I'm, I've been directed to do is to look at the anger uh, and the frustration that I have uh, with the male gender with the male sex with the, male, with the men in my life that I have uh, you know, various shades of men that I have encountered, you know, right from my father, grandfather, uh, brothers, I, you know, male friends, boyfriends, exes, current boyfriend. So, you know, what are the patterns? What, what, uh, what, are, where, what, what about it? The, you know, what, why do I even attract a certain kind of man for that matter? Why do I repel or why do I find certain kinds of men really? Oh, no. You know, it's, 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 it's a personal journey, of course. It's, I can't say that things that apply to me apply to everybody, but I'm sure many of you, especially if you're women, you can identify the, to this point that, okay, you know, we, we have a specific pattern for attracting the men. And of course, the, uh, you know, because of the, the negative experiences that one tends to accumulate or are surrounding this situation uh, with the men. Uh, of course, there is a lot of anger. There is a lot of negativity. There's a lot of, oh, men suck kind of thing. And it's there. I'm, it's, you know, it's always there. So that is the shadow work that I have been directed to do uh, uh, this year. So, of course, now I have made a spread. <laughs> because, see, uh, the series of, of, uh, of, you know, why I'm doing this theme and uh, intention kind of thing and, and looking at each month a different theme is because on some level I want to also help uh, everyone understand that, you know, tarot, yeah, sure, you can look at the cards uh, and and look at your, say, the future or look at guidance about how to manifest certain things and all of that. But, you know, in, in your everyday life, in, in literally, uh, you know, small things, big things, understanding, especially the journey of self-understanding and self-awareness, your cards can be your most valuable companions they will uh they will not just show you what you need to where you need to look and what information you you're looking for in a certain way but they will also kind of act like signposts along the way or or you know guiding lights along the way so because not everything can be just given to you right you have to discover it too Otherwise, you you will not have any value for it. So that's the that's kind of your cards are not just your friends. They're your teachers. They're your mentors. They are your companions in this journey. And so you can use your cards. Your cards can be there for you in this way too. I mean, it's not just oh yeah, will I get that job or uh, you know those yeah sure that will ha that that's how they're always used and that's great. But cards can be used for more, and that's kind of what. Uh, you know, the purpose is. So, <laughs> I have this uh, spread that I, of course, uh, you know, drew out on this uh, post-it note. And so, in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how I am going to bring it together uh, with, with using that very specific spread. So, I will uh, have probably the drawing of the spread somewhere on in this video so you can look at it uh i'll see you on the other side hi so if you guys have seen that uh theme and intention video that i was talking about earlier uh you may have seen that i used very you know two very specific cards uh, to focus on uh the first card was the devil card and the second one was the moon card, right? 
So these are the two different aspects of the shadow that I am very specifically uh, focusing on, uh, you know, in, in, in this month, right? One being devil, which is uh, the attachment to something uh, on the material plane or whatever, and, and a, a certain attachment to a certain darkness, all right? Now, because very specifically, the cards have asked me to look at my relationships with the opposite sex, you can very clearly see this card is talking about uh, the attachments with the, with the opposite sex that create that uh, sort of darkness, that chain me, that bind me, that don't allow me to be free in a certain way. That's, that's the aspect that comes through uh, and, and the fear and the darkness that it is evoking really, not, you know, in, in that way or, or the anger even, all the negative shadow aspects that get evoked because of relationships or relationships with the opposite sex. So that is what one aspect is, uh, you know, of the shadow is here. And the second one, the moon is more about the fears in general. There are fears. And if I, if I connect it with my, with obviously with the, with the mission <laughs> that the cards have given me, uh, you know, looking at the relationships with the opposite sex, Again, the moon card talks about, you know, the confusion, the emotional upheaval, the, uh, you know, again, the, uh, what do you call it? The, 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 the deep-seated anger and fear and, and loathing even, to be honest, that, that exists inside of me uh, towards the, the, the opposite sex on some level. So uh, let's face it. I mean, you know, uh, I, I mean, I, I, this is... Uh, gonna be something you know it, it it's it was a hard journey for me I have I have survived a bunch of nonsense at the hands of men and so uh, let, me, let me just put it this way in a more kind way right so I, I, I don't want to get into that but that that this that that disgust that loathing it comes from you know, and it's it's there you know, from a very deep uh, part of my psyche it, it it rears its ugly head now and then and then there are the uh, the fears and the anger and, and the confusing mass of emotions that I cannot untangle that come from there. So these are the two aspects really connected and even different even that I'm going to be focusing on uh, in, in this spread. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these cards aside and I'm going to basically shuffle or mix up the, the other two other, you know, 76 cards. Uh, you know, to do the spread that I have uh, sort of uh, drawn out here, really. And I'm going to focus on each aspect one at a time because I need to have a lot more information uh, so I can journal some more, you know. that's. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I do readings to, so that I can journal or I journal and then, you know, <laughs> But I'll, I'll tell you one thing, you know, it's not just, you know, it doesn't end for me with just these readings. I really do journal, uh, you know, and, and I go very deep with my thoughts. And and, and as when I write things down, it really somehow uh, tends to untangle that, those, those, you know, threads in my head. So I can all, I mean, I can never not recommend journaling. I mean, I've, I will always tell you, journal, 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 write it down, write it down. So, you know, it, it becomes clearer in your head. So I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do, because otherwise this will be a very lengthy uh, sort of uh, spread. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's right at the start. I don't know if I want to do both these cards in this video or I'm just going to pick one. So I'm going to mix this all up. I don't know which one is which, which one is which, which one is which, which one is which. I'm going to pick one uh, to start off with, okay? One aspect to start off with. Let's meet. Let's see what this one is. Oh, the devil. There we go. All right. So this one, this spread is going to be about the relationship, uh, you know, the romantic relationship or even any any sort of any level of relationship that creates bonds and connections with the opposite sex okay so this is the shadow aspect and you know the darkness that comes with these kind of things this is the shadow aspect that i'm going to be sort of focusing on uh in this uh, in this spread that i do right now okay 
So I'm just going to focus. I'm going to set my intention into the cards before I pull them. All right. Now the first card that I'm going to pull, again, this is going to be a kind of free form. There is a spread that I have drawn here as I showed you. So I'm going to keep this one here. The first one is how does this manifest? How does this, uh, you know, the shadow aspect sort of manifest in my life right now? Nine of Wands reversed. This is this is very interesting because, like I said, I have been doing a bunch of shadow work over a period of time, uh, you know, the past few years now. And it has been really, really helping me a lot. And again, I'm, I, I can't do a whole lot of it at once. There's just little chunks of it that I do slowly, slowly over a period of time. And it has helped me because it, there's a lot of stuff to work through. And this nine of wands here, the reverse, tells me that my guard is slowly coming down. If, if you look at this card, right, upright, it will tell you a story. This person has been through a lot, right, nine in, in the journey, one to ten. Nine is kind of the penultimate card, so to speak. If you see him, he's been hurt. And look at his posture. It's all very defensive and very like, you know, I'm just going to protect myself. So he's kind of erected this wall here. He's built this sort of fence in a way. And he's standing there with a stick in his hand, you know, one in his hand, ready to kind of, you know, defend himself should the need, you know, should the need arise. And then this guard is finally, you know, in the reverse, what happens is the guard is finally coming down. This is how it's manifesting in my life right now, right? If you know tarot, uh, the cards will tell you right here, right now what's going on. So right now, yeah, and this is so true that over the period of time, I have worked on this area little by little, not so consciously as this time, but a little, little, I have worked on this area. And slowly, I would say uh, my guard is down right the hurt is not completely gone i am still careful but my guard is you know my walls are coming down bit by bit bit by bit <laughs> uh, they're not completely down which is why this card has shown up but they are coming down so which is good and i would say my recent uh, relationship experience is uh is perhaps a manifestation of the fact that these cards are coming down i mean i had very good reasons to be careful and I have consciously let that guard down and it has manifested in a relationship where there is room for growth and, and we both are kind of, you know, really aware of it and it's good. So that's that. Uh, the second part is how is it, you know, how is this kind of behavior that comes from the shadow aspect? How, you know, because obviously it's something that I have held on to that, that anger, that, that, uh, uh, you know the the feeling <laughs> uh so how is it beneficial to me how has this been beneficial to me and how has this been harmful to me there you go. okay so how has it been beneficial ace of cups oh wow okay now when i look at this ace of cups reverse again no need to get all oh it's reverse it reverse is also very interesting just look at this cup it's emptying out right this shadow aspect me holding on to this uh, anger this uh, you know this fear but more 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 like anger fear is more like in the moon card but this card is all about the anger me holding on to the anger me holding on like being chained to that darkness uh, especially when it concerns the that 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 uh, you know the topic which is the opposite sex which is the mission that the cards have given me me my holding on to it for so long has actually helped me how it, because it has helped me let go of a lot of the pent up emotions and feelings in a way because when i get all angry and riled up and i talk about these issues or i talk about these topics it's it's a way for me to kind of vent it's a way for me to let go it's a way for me to express my emotions and that's how the cup is reversed that's why it's all feelings coming out right the sadness is expressed that is how it is helpful for me and how is it harmful for me a two of pentacles see this is very very interesting Two of Pentacles talks about juggling here, right? 
and these pentacles are you know money but it's practical things and behind him the waves are going up and down the while the emotions always are in a state of flux i'm trying to sort of look like i'm very easily managing but not really doing such a good job i'm trying to juggle through the practical ramifications uh, of this situation right two also brings in a certain level of duality and choice and this or that and here i'm trying to do both i'm in maybe you know that the negative way that it has manifested how it is harmful to me is me holding on to that anger uh you know a part of me wants a, a good relationship a part of me uh hates uh you know has carried a lot of anger you know not just this lifetime this previous lifetime there's a whole lot of work that comes with this right uh, and 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 me trying to juggle between both the positive and negative aspects of the whole entire situation and that is how it's harmful because emotions go rampant here and it's just me i i look like an idiot really <laughs> trying to juggle through this making sense of it but not really making sense of it it's like somewhere i feel i'm 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 on the fence i haven't decided if it's this side or that side and ideally you i don't want to take a side you know that's that's also there okay so <laughs> now this is an interesting one so how can i uh maximize the positive aspect and minimize the negative aspects so this is where the action points come in i would say all right so how do i maximize the positive aspect and how do i minimize this negative aspect okay so to maximize the positive aspect see this wow the empress card right so the cards are saying to maximize this positive aspect i should take that emotion and bring out something creative see the empress gives birth so give birth to creativity and abundance and also the empress she is super confident in her femininity right see this is this is again because the main topic here is my anger regarding the opposite sex and you know the fact that i've held on to that anger and the the positive aspect being that i am i am i express that anger that that negative emotion whenever i can or however i can you know if the topic does show up i express it uh you know when i'm talking to friends family whatever people i'm close to but i can take that anger and do something really beautiful with it and ultimately it you know to ma i maximize this by becoming more and more comfortable with my femininity i become i i i am power because the empress has power over her land she's not just you know wife of the emperor no she is also the ruler right so to because she's look at her she also has that scepter there right and the crown and she's mother nature and all of that there's a whole lot of symbolism here to unpack really uh but, but the long and short of it is i ultimately i take this emotions and i create something that will bring that abundance i bring forth so many things and then in that process i learn to be more comfortable with my femininity instead of being uh you know being awkward about it or being shamed about it i should learn to just you know rule it own it just be that and 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 be the queen that i'm supposed to be really be that empress yeah and 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 just just take take control over all these lovely things around me that are so beautiful so the best way actually i take the anger i channelize it into something so beautiful is amazing and so the next part again of course is seeing how i reduce uh, <laughs> this negative aspect and <laughs> see how the card show up the hanged man reverse this is intense okay i can i cannot stop smiling here all right remember this guy he's juggling he's all you know he's, he's putting that emotional stuff you know the negative way that this shadow aspect gets expressed in my life how is it harmful to me is that i big you know i start to basically juggle between the practical ramifications of this anger and i put my emotions on you know in the, in the background there and in order for me to kind of reduce this behavior and looking like an idiot there while I'm at it i come a uh, hanged man reverse 
right? Now, the hangman is a reverse card to begin with in the upright position. Mm -hmm. uh, and it talks about finding uh, oneself in a stuck position and unable to move, basically, because, you know, the leg is tied. Uh, so you give up on the ability to act. That is that sacrifice there. You give up on that. And you learn something by seeing something, you know, from the other side, from a different perspective. Reverse of this hanged man brings you in a space where, hey, you can actually act upon it. And having seen things from a different perspective, you now have the wisdom to know more than what you knew before. And you can then free yourself and go do something you're not now you're coming unstuck you're not stuck anymore so what the cards are saying is that yes you did express uh, the shadow aspect negatively by trying to choose between this and that right by trying to juggle between this and that by trying to uh, you know and and it, and it didn't serve you well you are now in a position to come unstuck you don't have to remain in that spot anymore you can free yourself from this juggling and now that you've seen the wisdom, you've seen the light, you've seen the different point of view, take that wisdom and do something constructive and good with it. All right. Wow. <laughs> this is this is an interesting spread. There's actually a further angle to it. But I believe that that will, you know, it will be better if I do that part of that spread uh in november so i'm gonna you know come back to this spread in november and i'm gonna keep the spread here and then pull the next uh two cards there all right so this is uh you know what the guidance the cards are giving me uh how to kind of deal with or you know what what you know more information really about how the uh the male female relationship dynamic and the kind of negativity and darkness that that shadow aspect how it manifested in my life what's the good point about it what i can do to enhance that negative uh, harmful effects of it and how i can reduce that and basically how it is currently manifesting in my life okay this is this spread which is great now uh i guess i i'm gonna go do a similar spread for the moon card okay <laughs> all right so i'm gonna put this devil card back in there the moon card down and i'm gonna just go quickly shuffle the cards pull a similar spread for that okay whoops i mean i decided to do this i might edit it out who knows but or maybe not so here we are so my fears my uh deep seated sort of inherent loathing and 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 how it you know not just about uh the opposite sex it also somehow manifests in self-loathing it's it's a it's a very destructive cycle there okay so, and, and I know many survivors out there will relate with it. Yeah. Okay. So, moon card. Let's begin. How does it manifest in my life? How is it manifesting in my life in the here and now? Page of cups reversed. See? Upright, this page of cups is such a lovely energy. He's a open emotionally open intuitive creative person who's open to receiving gifts from the universe and everything is kind of you know on that emotional intuitive creative uh sort of play in this this page is just so open to receiving and giving the messages that come along but uh you know in the reverse though that that kind of maybe talks about the channel being blocked again it's all that water see that the channel is blocked and so you know the the wisdom the gifts the uh, lovely uh sort of intuitive guidance that sometimes you know is is there is you know it might be received but not understood it might be perceived but not fully grasped it's not completely 
understood or or even you know it doesn't manifest in in that beautiful way that it's supposed to it's it's mad it, you know so this uh fear this this loathing especially when it concerns the opposite sex uh and this this anger this confused set of emotions you know it it creates you know, as it manifests in my life in the here and now it creates a lot of blockage uh you know creatively intuitively and all of that oh okay so now how does this uh, sort of you know my this aspect of the shadow how is this uh beneficial to me and how is it been harmful to me all right <clears throat> beneficial six of swords Reverse. This is interesting. See how many reverse cards show up. Even in the previous spread and even in this one. Six of Swords reverse. Again, all that water, right? Is this feelings and these swords falling off. It does help me move forward because we're looking at the beneficial aspect of it. It does help me move forward. And again, it helps me drop a lot of things that I have carried. So now, Having this loathing helps me actually express that anger. Having this, uh, these confusions actually helps me uh, overcome many different emotional issues by letting go of this baggage, right? When these fears show up, I'm I'm in a position to you know cre you know to recognize the baggage for what it is and drop it when it comes and I move forward. But it's an emotionally very uh you know ups and downs kind of space there so in a way it's good i'm transitioning no doubt but it's it's not an easy transition but that's kind of how it's beneficial for me that at least i'm transitioning i'm moving and i'm dropping the baggage okay on the negative way how it has manifested in or in a way that's harmful to me see this this is the world card and showing up reverse now huh see how many sh the cards are reverse it's i'm not joking on this it's reverses is again a very interesting manifestation of the shadow and believe me all of you guys who are out there who say uh, who always come in and say oh i looked at the reverse cards and i was like oh my god what's this uh the next video i make will probably be a deck review video but the video that i'm going to be making after this one is going to deal very specifically with reverse cards too so as i as they say stay tuned <laughs> so anyway coming back to this one how is this uh, fear, this loathing, this disgust, this, this this confused mass of emotions. How has this been harmful to me? Look at this. The world card talks about achieving your ultimate goals, achieving both on the spiritual plane, practical plane, all these various planes. The world card is the goal. It's the prize. It's everything really, right? And reverse, though it means it, uh, the negative way that it has come through is this. Now, while while I am moving forward and dropping the baggage, that's the positive angle. This emotional upheaval, not you know, this even regardless or whatever. But here, the negative way is because I keep getting caught up in that same cycle. See the cycle? I keep getting going over and over and over and over it. I don't come out of that cycle. I'm still caught in that loop, and I'm unable to. Uh, reach my goals and my dreams and my you know what I want to achieve I'm unable to find that spiritual kind of you know a freedom even uh, to be just be right and this is this is why you know even so many things in my life don't manifest completely or I don't reach a certain some set goals that I set up for myself so it's manifesting the harm here is this fear is not letting me Find the success of the completion that I'm looking to find. Okay. Whew. So let's ask the cards. So how can I maximize the good stuff and minimize or reduce the effects of the bad stuff? Yeah. So to maximize this good thing, which is me letting go of a lot of stuff that I'm carrying, the baggage and so on and so forth. <laughs> the cards are saying judgment reverse. What I need to do is to, uh, you know, see, in order for me to keep dropping the baggage, I need to keep going on. I can't say, oh, it's done. I need to keep going over and over the various things as they come up. See, judgment, this card is very interesting. Again, 
coming up reverse, no jokes there. But uh, judgment talks about listen, you know, you know, finding that one moment where suddenly the clarity comes, right? This this uh, angel blowing the trumpet, listening to the inner call, or uh, you know, uh, even even this this wake up call really that comes from the universe or from circumstances around you, and then it's like you're free, right? But if I want to keep dropping the baggage that I keep carrying because of the shadow aspect, I need to keep going over and over. I don't free myself from this karmic cycle in a way and I keep going over and over it. I don't know how this is beneficial, to be honest. Okay, I'm being honest here. I mean, the cards have come up and I, you know, this is what I say. The cards are never wrong. My interpretation might be wrong. So, if if I have interpreted this in a weird way, which doesn't make sense, if if some some other sort of interpretation makes sense to you, please feel free to drop me a line in the comment section. I will welcome your thoughts and opinions with an open heart and open mind. But the way I see things here is that the fears that it, that emerge from this moon card shadow aspect, basically, where I'm talking about this this disgust and self loathing and 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 just pure loathing. Uh, I, I, the cards are saying if I have if the, the the benefit which is you know me dropping baggage and and moving forward through this emotional crisis every time it presents itself. So for me to maximize it, I need to keep going over and over and over and over, and not really finding an end to it. I just keep keep going over and over, and I'll keep doing it. Yeah, that's the thing they're saying. Okay. Now, the harmful effect being that I do not accomplish what I set out to accomplish. I do not come out of that cycle, that loop. Hey, you know, I do not end and I do not, you know, move past everything. It's not over, right? It just keeps going. So to reduce this, <laughs> the cards are saying five of cups reverse. In order for me to do that, instead of focusing you know just just stop being so sad and gloomy and and depressed and see all the water see the cups even in the swords cards there's water here there's of course there's water 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 all this stop feeling uh depressed and sad about the stuff that is gone turn around and see you've got stuff you you still have something you know and ultimately i think this two of cups tells me that even though uh, I may have, you know, met some really nasty guys in my time. It's not all the guys that are nasty. Some are of the guys that I have met, some of the men that I have met. There are good men out there, right? And because this is this is the shadow aspect where I'm looking at, you know, because the mission this month is focusing on my end, you know, the thing with the opposite sex. So that's why. There are good men out there. I know a couple of them. I know that this, uh, you know, not all men are assholes and creeps and, and, and all of that. So instead of, you know, holding and, and feeling sad about it, in order for you to kind of move past this, right, I need to turn around and focus on the good rather than the negative. What is gone is gone. Focus on what you still have. And there's plenty for that. Yeah. Wow, okay, so <laughs> again, I could keep talking and keep talking and keep talking and keep talking about this, uh, but uh, I know this is this is again very personal uh, and this this uh, these spreads are supposed to be or at least these these spreads are supposed to be a little bit more instructional or to give you an idea of see this is what you can do kind of a thing. So I'm gonna go journal about this, you know, I'm gonna you know, this obviously this video is there uh i'm gonna go and journal about this because that's the purpose of doing this spread is for me to then go and write about this and and do some a lot more deep uh in the deep diving into each card each each spread and it's very interesting how all the cards have shown up reversed here and i believe in the previous spread also it was this way no not not all of them but for this one, yes, all the cards have shown up reverse, which is, which is something else to uh, bear in mind. And again, don't worry, because shadow is the theme of <laughs> this month, I'm going to be focusing on reverse cards in the next to next uh, video that I do, which is my spreads video. So all of you people hang in there. Stay tuned. Uh, okay, so... There's a lot to journal, of course, and a lot to think about and a lot to focus on. Clearly, the journey 
with the shadow is not simple at all and it is not uh easy <laughs> or or you know it's not pain by numbers either i mean you can't say okay do this and you'll achieve it no that at some after a certain point i think everybody's journey uh goes on a different sort of route or direction or or you know and 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 then it becomes super personal for all of us and i think you know it can start with journaling you could try visualizing you could try uh you know there's a lot of lot of stuff that i have also played with and done and and it's it's intense there's a lot i could talk about uh but uh, like i said there's there's more and and everybody's journey is always always personal but uh you can have a great start to that journey with your cards showing you maybe even the direction to go in or or showing you some you know another thing uh something or shedding light on something that sort of a thing and of course every step of the way if you should need more guidance you can always pull another card and and ask your cards right so i hope you liked uh this little video i made uh about uh, the shadow aspect and and this very personal kind of readings that i did uh, if, if you know if they made sense to you, if you could relate to it, if you understand, or if if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, ideas, thoughts, totally I welcome them. Uh, put them in the comment section. Have like we can totally talk about this, and and I I invite and love all any and all sorts of discussions. It's it's this is a very deeply. Uh, personal and interesting subject both from a very study point of view and also from a very personal journey point of view for me so uh, it's intense and it's powerful and it's beautiful and 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 when awakened and, and integrated the shadow can be such a lovely lovely thing uh, you know you 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 find yourself a little freer a little more relaxed around yourself you know what i'm saying uh it's it's not it's not uh, you know forget uh, you know, every, every everything else anyone else you find yourself more relaxed around yourself more comfortable with yourself more happy with yourself <laughs> it's and that's not a mean feat that's not something you know that's not easily achieved but shadow work again i'm not saying it's easy but it is so fulfilling and worth it that is what i'm saying so in you know i can I could talk about this for hours, I'm sure. So I'm going to hold myself back and stop right here. We can talk in the comments more about specific things if you want. Uh, totally, you can, you know, write to me in the comments or write me in personal email, whatever works for you. Uh, I, I will definitely always answer and reply. So, yep. Um, I'm also, uh, I, if, if, if you guys are already following me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, you must have seen that I've already, uh, so, you know, started doing, uh, my card a day uh, readings with this very lovely deck, the Santa Merte, uh, tarot deck. Uh, that's the deck I'll be reviewing in my next video, of course. But, uh, so you can follow along because again, that's a very interesting, uh, sort of shadow-ish <laughs> deck. So I chose that very, very specifically for this month. So you can follow along on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. If you're not following me already, you can totally go follow me there where I do my card a day readings. Uh, and uh, you can, you know, basically enjoy the images of the deck and my interpretations of them. Um, if you want readings for yourself, you know, you can totally book a reading with me and I'll be more than happy to do readings for you and uh yeah if you want to learn or if you want to you know practice with me how to do tarot card readings i'm always there you can always uh you know we can always work on that so with all that being said i will see you again in my next video and and, and meanwhile i'll wait to hear from you in the comment section and in the meanwhile stay good be good play with your cards bye for now mm -hmm.